Good morning everyone, today is finally the day we are talking about phone photography. I'm taking you to the best spots in Chicago and I'm gonna share with you some epic tips. How can you crush it with your phone, get photos that might be just as good as an expensive camera? So if you're ready, let's get started. I think you're gonna love this. Alright guys, welcome to a new episode. I hope you're having a beautiful day and that you're ready because we're in the streets of Chicago and we're gonna hit the most famous spots to get some epic phone photography. OnePlus asked me to share with you some great tips for photography because this is something I use every single day to shoot and I even printed some of my phone photography so I think you're gonna love those tips. We have about four to five and I'm gonna be shooting with the OnePlus 9 Pro made in partnership with Hasselblad and I'm telling you it's gonna be fun. So my first tip, let's get right into it. You can hear the sirens, it's got them steady here. We have those great leading lines and leading lines is literally your number one thing you wanna look out for in photography. The best way to use leading lines is with a wide angle. So I'm gonna use the wide angle on my phone right now and one thing that you're noticing is that Oscar is really bright but here it's pretty dark so the phone is gonna kick in in HDR which is something we absolutely love because you would have to do it manually on your camera but here the phone will do it by itself so I'm waiting for the train to be at the right position not fully in the frame a little bit less boom boom I kind of like that one and we're gonna move to that side because now we've got epic clouds and again when we shoot in the HDR, we'll be able to get those clouds. So I'm tapping to focus, then slide down a little bit my exposure to get it right. This is how I would shoot that spot. This is one of the most iconic spots in Chicago. And literally, the phone is one of the best tools here. I've shot it many times with my phone, and those are usually my favorite photos because I can recover a lot with the HDR. And when you have that wide angle, you do get those leading lines. So if you're ready, let's move on to the next spot. We're gonna hit some sunset. I think it's gonna be pretty epic tonight, honestly. On the way to the next spot, it's gonna be really good and we're hoping for a good sunset. But quick tip on the way, something I didn't mention and you might have noticed, I always use the grid on my phone. So make sure you turn on the grid on your phone and it really helps you get those building lines straight or making sure your horizon is straight. Those lines will save your photos. Uh, at least they do for me, so they might for you too. Ooh. All right, second spot, second tip, and it gets a little tricky and this is where using your phone might be the best solution because the great advantage is that our camera is actually very flush with the window because it's so small, it's tiny. With a big camera, it's actually hard to reach here, so phones are a great tool to go and reach in difficult location and be very flush when you're doing reflection shots. That's why you might have seen a lot of people on Instagram use their phone next to polls and stuff like that. It's because it works really, really well, even better than a big camera. So I'm just gonna flip it, put it right there against the window and get it one of those really cool shots. We have a nice blue hour right now. And if we're ready, tap to focus. Don't forget, woo, I like that. Okay. We got a nice one. And now we're gonna take another one in that direction and we're gonna take a photo of Andrew, actually just hanging out by the window and we're gonna use the portrait mode to really add depth in the image and get the blurry background, the creamy one. Look at the results, let me know what you think. Alright guys, we made it to one of the spots which I love, 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 love shooting because we can use something which is a mix between slow shutter speed, still movement and all that within your phone. I'm gonna show you how in a second because you might think I will never be able to get that with my phone. But yes, you can. So let's just go on the platform and let me show you 
probably gonna get a really cool shot. Alright, so this is how it works. <laughs> it's actually tricky. I think I might have showed it in one video in the past. Okay, we've got this frame and we're gonna have the, the train pass blurry, but we're gonna see the people completely crisp through two wagons of the train. And for that, we're gonna have to time it perfectly. On the OnePlus 9, you can have a pro mode which actually allows you to change all the settings. There is some third party apps that allow you to do that, but I love this one because it's built in it and it shoots in raw. So I'm going for ISO 320 and a shutter speed of 1 15th of a second. I might have to increase it to 1 20th. We'll see depending on how the shot looks like. It's gonna be a little tricky. Let's wait for the train and shoot it. Again, guys, remember gear is not an excuse not to be creative, not to try different things and have fun with your shots. You can use your phone, you can use anything. Just use your imagination first and the tools you have with you. Oh my god, it took us like an hour to get it. Uh, but this is a shot where you kind of have to be lucky. There has to be people on the platform. Obviously, it was a little tricky, but it works. This is something you can do. Now, we're on to the last spot. And I'm keeping it a surprise because I think a lot of you will love it. It's an iconic spot and it's one of the first spots I've really shot in Chicago in my entire life at night. So if you're ready, let's go up. Last spot, last idea. It's gonna be a long exposure. Let me show you how we're gonna do it with the phone. We're gonna again actually use the manual function on the phone, which is super important. Again, I'm going to go in the pro mode. And here is what we're gonna shoot long exposure. There is this really cool S curve. Obviously, you could shoot anything, a highway, a street, wherever you are. Andrew brought a mighty tripod for the phone. So it's gonna be awesome. And here we're trading camera for tripod. Boom. Ooh, that looks so sketchy. Still gonna keep an a, a hand on the tripod just because I'm a little afraid. So we're waiting for the train. Uh, ISO 500, 2870 Kelvin, shutter 30 seconds, manual focus, and we're gonna take a test shot. So you'll see three, three seconds. So now we just wait 30 seconds. A few moments later. Uh, and boom! Okay, we've got a photo and it looks completely blown out. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna reduce our ISO to 100. There we go. And looking a little bit at our uh, curve up there, you see we have a histogram right there that's helping us know if we're overexposed or not and I think this might be a little better. If you don't want to do it manual, there is another way, which is to go in nightscape mode, and it's gonna allow you to capture night photos way better. It's gonna actually take a bunch of photos and recompose them together in order to get the right result. And you can see, it looks mint, there is no noise, there is nothing. We're gonna try both in manual and in nightscape, and here we go. Switching quickly to Nightscape. But we're just gonna get the back of the train, so we'll see what happens. Uh, sometimes with Nightscape you don't get the trails, light trails, so you can see we got it like totally sharp with the train, which is awesome, but we don't get the light trails. Versus, woo, manual mode. That looks epic. Look at that, yeah. on the phone. What the yeah. heck, yeah. right? Let me know what you think. Also, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Now, with that being said, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. If you just have a phone, you have no excuse. Get out there.